we could talk for hours already, Tink, right? Isn't this yes. a vibe right We've now? We've already <laughs> kind of gone through the motions. It's crazy. <laughs> We've decided we're going back to your hometown <laughs> to see what's happening. I want to see the love that you get when you go home. Yes. How does that feel? How does all of this energy make you feel knowing that there's so much excitement behind your album? Yes. It's here now. What is it like when you go back home? I need it so bad. Um, going home is everything. You know, Chicago shows me so much love um but no just the energy and just the you know I feel like the support from Chicago is so strong that's really like my core mm. um so anytime I'm at home it's just literally like I'm myself free are people recognizing you as tink or is it just okay they're just happy to see you win <laughs> I feel like now things are definitely coming around mm -hmm. um for a long time i feel like people knew my music but yeah. didn't necessarily like put the face to the music interesting so i've been like playing catch up these last like few years two three years and um just really trying to um you know showcase more of my energy and my vibe but like i say recently like the love has been very mm -hmm. crazy do you feel like you get overlooked when it comes to music or are you where uh, you are supposed to be? I don't feel like I'm overlooked. I feel like I'm just in a space that isn't, I guess, you know, mainstream. Mm -hmm. And that space is really fire, too. Right. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, I get a lot of love on the road. You know, I'm able to really sell out shows. And, you know, I have a lot of support. So I don't think it's just overlooked. I just have my own space. That's right. That I love to kind of be in. Yeah. And I think selfishly, because we enjoy what you have created, it's almost like, do we really want you to keep on going bigger and, and just taking over the world? Of course we do. At the same time, we like, it feels a little exclusive. Yes. And I like that. I like that, you know, for this moment. Um, I don't know. I just feel so close to my fans and my supporters. Yes. Like, I feel like we have a special bond. And, um, you know, I've been signed and I've been under you know, a major label before. And it didn't feel the same as it does now. So what's um, the biggest difference? Uh, for me, you know, being signed to a label, is just like you have somebody or you have a group of people telling you what to do. Right. The freedom. Mm. I'm not afraid to do anything now because it's who I am and it's, it's what I want to do. Yes. Um, so that's the difference. It's just being free and in my, you know, in my own comfort now. And trusting your gut and going with it, whether it works or it doesn't work, yes. at least you know it's your vision. That's it's what it. you want. Oh, my God. That's it. I'm one of those people like, you know, I don't mind making the mistake. But sure. when you have somebody else that comes mm -hmm. in and, you know, maybe messes something up, it's like, uh, that hurts more. Yes. So I love being, you know, in charge of everything, my own destiny. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, so I'm happy about that for too, you. Nessa. Thank you. I'm so happy Thank you. for you. It means Let's a lot. talk about it. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. The album. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a lot to unpack. Yes. Okay. Tell um, me the title. Who's it about? Let's let's jump right in. Uh, well, the title "Thanks for Nothing." Um, this was a Valentine's Day project, mm -hmm. so you have to remember the month of love. I wanted to make an album for my my single women mm -hmm. and for my ladies that are you know if you're in between a relationship you know that gray space oh um, the gray space the gray the space terrible space to be it is and that's why this album is is really hidden you know what i mean it's hidden home for a lot of people because i feel like i was just being completely honest mm -hmm. and um and for me when i'm just when i'm not holding back that's when i make my best music mm. so this album was like you know we made it in about two months it was raw emotions um, it's executive produced by Hitmaker. Mm -hmm. um, and I just feel like every song was just like natural. It was like, you know, we were really just being um, being honest. Mm -hmm. So, Have you said that to somebody? Thanks for nothing. Well, I haven't really said it, but I think that's like the mood. Um, mm. I felt like when I was creating the album, um, I had just released Pillow Talk. Mm -hmm. So that album was super soft, super... Um, yeah. seductive and yeah. very much just cuddly yeah. and, and and i was like man i want to flip a switch this next album i have to really go dark right and um thanks for nothing was you know just the the mold of it yeah 
has anyone from the past hit you up and asked you, is this about me? <laughs> uh, nobody's hit me yet. Because it just came out right. on the 24th. Um, but I get a lot of those texts or DMs. Because um, the music is so personal. It's yes. like, it's hard, you know, for people not to feel like this is about me. Right. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm, very, um, I'm very open and honest. And, you know, if I had to make a record about a person, it's, it's just me, you know, being creative. Yeah. I'm it's sorry. It's just how you feel. It's, it's how story. I feel. Yeah. For sure. Talk to me about the song Toxic. Toxic. Ooh. Toxic. The first record we released, um, that was the introduction to this this space that I'm in. Um, I feel like coming off of Pillow Talk, I just wanted to come strong and, you know, make some bold statements. And Toxic, you know, I'm really just, you know, yes. I'm throwing shots. Yes. And I feel like that's the space I'm in. I'm not holding back. And the album is really about just the toxic... The toxic, you know, ish we go through as women. Yes. So that was me just introducing everyone to this new era of music. What's the most toxic thing that you've ever dealt with in a relationship that you will never deal with again? That's uh, <laughs> There's got to be something you're like, learn from me. This doesn't usually end well. Absolutely. It's a red flag. I think for me, the, the most toxic situations that I deal with it's just the fact that when, like, the love is so good that you dismiss the BS. <laughs> yes. Or if the love, you can say the sex. Um, you know, if we're being honest, yeah. I feel like, you know, we'll hold one thing so high mm -hmm. to the point that we forget everything else. Yes. And all the negative things I go through. So for me, it's just kind of like allowing things to keep occurring. After the first flag, you know, that's when it's time to call it quits. What's a major red flag for you? Yes, I have a few. Yeah. <laughs> but I know communication. Ooh, yeah. You know, I'm I'm very much like a writer, a thinker. I need to express myself through words. You have to be able to pick up your phone. And, you know, as, as women or, you know, whatever you do, I'm always working. I'm always traveling. So, you know, when I do have a second to talk, you got to pick the phone up. You know, yeah. I'm always on the road. So communication is so important. Like, I... If I can't get a hold of you, that's a major red flag for me. Yeah. You know, and my mind just wanders so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you know us places. girls, we, oh, yeah, yeah. we think of the worst. It's so. like, okay, yeah, you, you have another family. That's what that means if you don't <laughs> Yes, you're getting like, married like, in a, in a few married. weeks. Exactly. <laughs> like, we um, go right away. We take away. it there. Yep. yep. <laughs> that's me. So I need uh, reassurance and communication, you know? Yeah. Did this album also make you reflect on what you wanted to work on within yourself in relationships? Absolutely. A lot of self-reflecting. When I play some of the songs, I'm kind of like, man, you know, you got to come out of that situation. Mm -hmm. Toxic is one of those records, you know, where I'm just speaking on how I, I messed with the person and I knew they weren't good for me. And I kept going back and um, it does make me self-reflect a whole lot. Yeah. Um, and I need it, though. I think that's why the album is, is just, like, resonating because women, we're thinking about these lyrics and we're actually digging into it. So, yeah, we need it. The event that you had, the anti-Valentine's Day event, the car smashing yes. fun event. Yes. Have you ever done that? Wow. Have you ever smashed an ex's car? <laughs> Have you ever gone through this experience? You know what? I've never smashed a car, but I have. Um, I've slashed a tire. Okay. When I was young, when I was young, I was in high school. Um, so it's something that I'm not proud of. I, I don't recommend anybody to, you know, sure. mess up a car. But, you know, you go through those moments and you have to rele release that stress. And um, I've had a few, a, a few moments. What did that person do? I'm assuming they did something for you to do that. It didn't just come out of, of nowhere. Of course. I feel like I'm always the person. I don't just do things for nothing. Right. There's always a reason. Right. Um, but in that situation, the guy, he was actually talking to a mutual friend of ours. And girl, I found out by looking through his iPad. Oh, no. So, so the way I found out was, was terrible. Um, but, you know, friends are off limits. I'm very Absolutely. big on, like, loyalty. And friends, you don't, you don't do that. You don't cross that line. And what so. did you do? Did you talk to her? Did you say, hey, what's going on here? Nope. I actually just kind of cut her off. Right. You know. Um, but it's crazy. I had a lot of energy for him. 
you know. Of course. Um, Because I just felt like as my man, you know, you owe me the most um, loyalty. Um, So I didn't speak to her about it. I didn't talk to him about it. I played it like I didn't know. (gasps) Yeah, I held it in. And then I feel like um, the next day is when I called my girl up, like, Nisi, hey, I need you to come pick me up. This guy's da-da-da. And it happened. So. So we grow from those situations. We're better now. Of course. Of course. You know, I haven't done anything like that in so long, um, especially where I'm at now. I don't even have time to. <laughs> you're on the road. Be wilding, fighting, stressing. We don't, we don't move like that no more. You know what, though? I think relationships, I think it's either it's never going to be perfect. You have this idea of it's just arguing or it's this picture perfect scenario. And it's not. There's work to it. Right. And I think yes. communication, to your point, is critical. Absolutely. It's, it's a lot of work being in a relationship. Um, yeah. And I just think, you know, people don't even realize, you know, when you're, you know, when you're in a relationship, you're really sharing a space with someone Mm. so that takes time that takes energy effort you know that takes giving oh yeah you know what i mean it takes a lot out of you so and people are different like think about it you're getting involved with someone and they have their own emotions they have their Mm. own way of doing things and you have to learn to to balance it it all out language exactly it's tough (laughs) but you know what i like your post it was very simple it was show me loyalty if nothing else Mm. It's the bare minimum. Yes, Nessa. Right? I'm so big on loyalty. It's the bare minimum, but it it actually covers a lot. That's right. You know what I mean? We want love and we want affection and you know, we want all these things, but loyalty is what kind of like ties it all in. If I don't if I don't have loyalty from you, what good is anything else? Gifts, money, diamonds? Yeah, no. Loyalty. Loyalty is big. It's big. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you. Let's say somebody's courting you. you. This person is just like checking off all the boxes so far. Okay. But they are just very, hey, look, I'm loyal to you when I'm with you. But when I'm not, I'll communicate with you. But I'm going to treat you great. Mm. Is that something that you're willing to deal with? You know what? I'm going to be honest. We did say communication <laughs> was like number one, too. Sure. So I feel like... That does help a lot. Right. You know, and you give you give a person the option mm-hmm. to accept it. But communicating does give someone a little peace of mind. Sure. So yeah. at least I know if something is to happen, he'll tell me. Right. Um, but for me, no. No. No, no ma'am. I can't. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I'm pretty cool on the on and off. Yeah. I love things, you know, what we want, we want it to ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not about that life. Mm-hmm. No, when I hear it, I'm like, wow, good for you. I yeah. can't. Like, Yeah, and no shade to anyone. I no. feel like when I was younger or, you know, if you're like, you know, you're still growing and you have time to kind of right. while out. Right. Do your thing, you know, do your thing. Um, But, you know, me, 27, I'm very serious about my love now. Right. And mm. um, everything moving forward just has to align. It makes sense. It has to make sense. Mm-hmm. You had tweeted, it's December 1st and I met a guy. So what happened? <laughs> like I was oh, like, this is okay. a cliffhanger right now. Let me explain. Okay, so that that tweet is actually a lyric from okay. one of my um one of my biggest songs from this mixtape called Winner's Diary. It's from my day ones. They understand that that mixtape, but that's like a lyric from a song called I Like. Uh huh. And every every December, the first of December, I kind of like tweet it out. So regardless, we're gonna get that. <laughs> Oh, is that what is like this going to be an annual yeah. thing? It could be. Actually, right. I, I do like to tease it every every December because um, it's December 1st. Yeah. And, you know, it just takes my fans back to day one, sure. you know, when it's diary mixtape. So, you know, they always eat that, eat that up. So if you post this and it's not December, oh. then it might be a sign to us that things... <laughs> Yeah, if it's not December, then I'm some somebody Something may be involved, right? <laughs> exactly, but not that time. That was that was a real lyric. That, okay, so nothing. Yeah. Okay, so how are things for you now? Are you in a relationship? Not in a relationship. Focus on your music. I mean, yes. where does um, it go when we hear such beautiful songs? And how is life you know, now? I'm definitely focused and in my bag right now. Right. Um, I've been so busy that it's so hard to kind of like settle down for any anyone Mm. um and just right now i'm figuring things out you know it's hard for me to really put titles on things um because i feel like i don't want to disappoint myself and i don't want to get my um 
you know, get my hopes up for things. And I'm enjoying this space. I think, you know, now is like the best time for me to be free. And, you know, I just don't have a lot of time to stress and feel right. down and feel sad. And, or, you know, whatever the case, I don't have time to be emotional right now. <laughs> so, how are your DMs? Oh, the They're DMs fun. are fun. Uh, they're fun. <laughs> but toxic. I see a lot of familiar. <laughs> You know what? My DMs are crazy. I think all women can agree. We see like men, other people's men. and No. I swear. It's very toxic in the DMs. I, I stay out. I try to stay out. No. Yes. I think all women can agree. If you go yes, through your DMs, yes. you'll see some mess. Um, And it's just, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. You know, yeah, I'm not here for the mess. No, 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 so. no. You can't be because that energy is going to seep into your world and you just don't have the time. There you for go. That. Yes. And it comes back to you. Whatever oh, you for sure. <laughs> for a lot of artists, I feel like the growth in the industry is hard in itself. Mm -hmm. For you, you've had all types of experiences. There was a time you were signed at Timberland and obviously you're no longer signed and you're doing your own thing. What is something that you've learned along the way that even though it didn't work out? it's benefited you at this point in your life? For sure. Uh, for me, I think the biggest lesson was like, man, what's the what's the saying? All that glitters mm -hmm. is not gold. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean, you know, when I, was, when I was about 15, 16, when I got signed, you know, I was chasing money. And I was chasing a big, you know, a big uh, yeah. label budget or sure. a big advance. And I wanted a nice car. I wanted jewelry and i right. wanted all the you know everything that glitters but i found out man like that is like not even half of what it takes to do this and you know money money is dope money is great we want to support our families but you know putting in the actual work and grind is it's much more it, it you know it gives you more than anything materialistic Yes. So that was what I learned. It was like, you know, chase chase the grind, chase, you know, chase the accolades rather than so much, you know, a new bag or a new pair of shoes. And yeah. um, I had to kind of really focus myself in on Tink and the music. So did you feel torn at times? Because we remember, I think it was 2015 when Timberland had talked about Aaliyah came to him in a dream and spoke to him and right referencing to you as the one did you feel pressure at that time and do you feel like you've gotten out of that pressure yes. maybe <laughs> you know that energy yes and and respect respectfully to Timbaland you know that's a legend and an icon Absolutely. um but there was a lot of pressure sure. at the time and especially when you mention you know idols like Aaliyah and who you know who we love and admire yeah. you know I was still working and still had a long way to go and um, I just felt like I wanted to be myself and I had, now I had to live up to certain, um, you know, just live up to certain things. Uh, but I do, in a sense, I still appreciate everything that happened with Tim. Yeah. And now it's like, I'm so, um, uh, adamant about doing things that make sense for me. Yeah. I had to learn that, like, you know, I'm not trying to be nobody else, right. be yourself. Um, and yeah, I think now I'm just so much smarter and I had to go through that mess and, yeah. you know, I had to go see, you know, what that side felt like to know, like, you know, being signed, it's, it's dope, but this is like where I'm really happy, yeah. you know. And you're able to create the way you want to create right yes. now. And I just think you had to go through that to really enjoy where you're at now. Exactly. I think, you know, this, it makes me appreciate everything happening now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And have you come to some type of understanding? Because I had read that the music that you made with him wasn't going to get released. As an artist, that has to be hard when you know a body of work isn't going to get released. Yes. Have you come to terms that it's okay? Or would you eventually one day want it to get released? No, no, no. I think it's okay. Um, I was really young when I made that album, too. So this was in 2015. So I was no more than maybe 20 right. or, you know, 2021. And being 27 now, I'm in a whole new space. Right. Like, the, you know, my content and, you know, the things I want to talk about are totally different. So I'm cool. You know, yeah. I'm fine. Um, and I can also keep making music. You yeah. know, that's the best thing. I write my own. I write my own music. Um, so it's nothing to go in the studio and make another album. That's right. 
Oh yeah, you're you're good. You're good. You're good. When it comes to creating music, do you prefer the writing aspect of it, the singing part of it, or the performance? What would you say is your favorite part of it all? I think when I'm in the studio. Um, okay. So when I'm singing it and writing it, that's when I get the chills, the goosebumps. You know, I've cr I've cried in, in the studio before because, mm -hmm. you know, you just get so happy thinking about how the fans are gonna go up. Um, but I do love performing, but for me, you know, writing and when you find the right bar, that's the <laughs> ultimate, like, high. Like, yeah. Yes. You know, it makes everything just connect. Worthwhile, Worthwhile. right? Worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Who else do you want to work with? Because on this album, you have Blue and Ty Dolla Sign. Yes. By the way, Ty is just one of my favorite artists. I feel like sometimes, look, yes, he gets the accolades, but I feel like it needs to be more because he's so talented. And one of the best voices. Oh. People have no idea, you know, and I've been waiting to work with Ty. Funny story. Uh, I don't know if I should tell. but Tell us. Um, so I guess when I was making Heat of the Moment, the first yeah. album with Hitmaker, I had kind of, um, I hinted to him like, man, I really want to get Ty on this record. Yeah. But this was two years ago. So, you know, we were still building. Um, and I reached out and the record didn't happen. Oh. So I was crushed. I was like, oh, Ty would be so good. Um, so full circle two years later. Um, the record let down my guard. We we wrote it and um, sent it to him, and he immediately showed love and oh. got it right back. So I was, that was a moment for me because you know a couple years ago I was like, man, you know I got to keep going. I didn't get upset. Yeah, I didn't get bitter. You know, and of course God, you know, Find put that way. into play. Yeah. Isn't that special? Mm -hmm. You know what? I've learned that. And tell me if you feel the same way. But I've learned not to get not. I don't want to say mad but you know when you get down something doesn't work out and you kind of feel away right and you start pointing fingers and then ultimately you point the finger at yourself and you're just like yep. you can hold it against someone right yes. or hold it against a situation but now i've learned in my life to just let it go let it go and keep moving forward that's right i think we get stuck in it if we don't oh, if yes. we don't let it go we get stuck in it and it can really it can hurt you i know for a long time i was definitely stuck in a, in a bitter situation and you know it just didn't help it didn't help anything and I took a year away to kind of get back to myself and find my find my purpose again and you know if you hold on to that hurt that that resentment mm -hmm. man you're gonna block a lot of blessings that part yeah and that's real mm -hmm. absolutely yes. who else do you want to work with you know obviously this is just an exciting yeah. time yeah tell me tell me yes I would love to work with Summer Walker oh Yes. I've seen so many posts, you know, a lot of people compare our, our music and, you know, we're actually really tight or, you know, we talk and speak you yeah. know, every, every blue moon. So I would love to just put that energy in the air, like, you know, two women coming together. Um, and also SZA. Yeah. SZA, her album is everything to me right now. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm I'm really willing to work with anyone who, who feels good, who sounds good. Right. They can be, you know, A list, B list, D list. I don't care. Right. You know None what I'm of that saying? Matters. I've worked with almost everyone that has come my way with a dope song. Yeah. So you can always hit me um, and I'm willing to work. Oh, that would sound amazing. Like my mind just went like, oh, that would be. The summer, Summer Walker. Yes. Yeah, I would die. I, I feel like. I, we like always right talk now? about the same, you know, we talk about the same vibes and we really, you know, just speak for the ladies. So. From a hood perspective, too, it's just, it would, it would make a lot of noise. Have you floated the idea to her? Well, for me, I'm, I'm very much like, I know how this business is, and I know how people will kind of just hit you up just for a, a record. So I haven't really been, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, real. yeah. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. really cool. So it's just, you know, just vibing now, and if it comes. You, you want know, it to it happen, happen organically. organically. If it happens, you want her to also want that, you know? Exactly. It's, I love that. Yeah. Do you feel like that's a different approach for you now in your life versus maybe when you first came into the industry where you're trying to make it happen regardless? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I had to kind of learn, like, you know, things are better when they're organic, natural. Right. You know, and meet people. When I meet people, I, I really want to meet them. And mm -hmm. it's not about what can you do for me or... Yes, what can I do for you? Um, and once you establish that relationship, I think everything else just flows yeah. a lot better. When you created mine, 
And you talked about, I was reading it up on Pitchfork, that you got the blessing from Brandy and Monica. And okay. that was important for you. Yes. Why was that important? You know, for me, I'm just such a respectful person. I respect the ones before me. Yeah. And I know that they don't have to mess with the new sure. generation at all. Like, these are people that have worked so hard to the point they don't have to do anything. Right. So, you know, me just knowing that, you know, it means a lot when people give you the okay. And, um, and of course, I grew up with Brandy. I mm -hmm. grew up playing Monica and yeah. wanting to look like them, sing like them. Um, so, you know, that it, it just means a lot. Yeah. Me. Oh, I love that. And I wanted to highlight it because I just think it's okay to show love. It's mm -hmm. okay to want to yes. get, you know, the blessing from people who came before and they've paved the way. I think it's great to celebrate the journey and everyone who's been a part of it. Absolutely. And and we learn from that too. Like I don't know it all, you sure. know. I I'm not the type of person to act, you know, holier than thou. I need people, you know, around that can show me the game and teach me. So I'm always showing respect and love to the ones before me. I think that's so great. And how was it creating the song? So the song was really it was written um before I sent it to her. So um we asked her to just lay a uh, course lay her 12 bars um and money long was in a space she was working so much off of hours and hours i was like whenever you got time right because i know you're busy and i i want i know you winning right now and you you know but um when she made time she sent the record back and went crazy to the point i had to go back in and, and kind of <laughs> add some sauce you know <laughs> but shout out to money long man her her story and her career is just amazing so inspiring oh yeah yeah that's a great word, inspiring for sure. Yes. Who else inspires you? And when you see their journey, it doesn't even have to be someone who's an artist. It could just be anyone. And it's something, you know, that's helped you along the way. For sure. Uh, I'm inspired by a lot of people. Uh, if I had to throw a name. Yeah. There's just so many. I think, you know, money long. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna name all the girls right name now. Name them, Kaylani. Yeah, oh, I you love. You know, if you Kaylani. know her back in and how she kind of grew up in different homes and things like that. Being from Chicago, you know, I know how it is coming out of like a bad situation mm -hmm. or finding your way. Um, but I don't know. I'm inspired by everyone. It's like, man, I think all of our stories just kind of like motivate me in a way. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's why so many people root for you? Because you're always rooting for everybody else. Like having this conversation with you right now, seeing how much you admire and you are a fan of people's music. Yeah. Do you think that love is given to you? Absolutely. I agree. I think the way that I just kind of carry my myself and, you know, if you ever follow, if you follow me, you know, I'm always just speaking positive. And yes. I'm always trying to help or give somebody a mental, a mental note. Um, and that energy, like I say, what you put out is what comes back. So uh, people definitely give me love and I know I feel all the, the support and, you know, they want to see me go further and further. Yes. And um, I don't know. I think it's just the karma of me, you know, just laying these seeds as mm -hmm. I go. Um, so I appreciate it. And you're going to go on the road. You're going to be yes. kicking off your tour. Let's go. And that's a, absolutely. Thanks for everything tour. Yes. So that's exciting. You know, I'm going, I'm going on tour in March. Well, I'm sorry. It's the end of March going into April. Yeah. And we're going to have a ball. I'm really performing all of my records. When I say thanks for everything, I mean everything since day one, Winner's mm -hmm. Diary, um, the series. I'm going to go back into Pain and Pleasure, um, Heat of the Moment, Hopeless Romantic. Oh, you yeah. Know, you're, you're, you're really all the giving albums. it all. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I'm excited. How is it when you go back home on tour? Is it just <laughs> different than any other city that you go to? It's the best it's response. It's totally oh. different. I can perform like songs from 2012. Yeah. And they'll sing it like it just dropped. Oh. Um, so it's it's a very different energy um, in Chicago. And that's home. So I get to act, act up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am act so up. excited for you. I'm so Thank happy you, to see Thank you do your thing. And in honor, because for me, I love Toxic. I love the song. Obviously, I'm not the only one. I wanted to play a fun game with you. And it's just Toxic Talk, okay? And you just tell me what you think the answer would be in these situations. All right. 
Okay, so if your man wanted you to stop talking to your friends. Not happening. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> Done. No way. Instantly. You can never put your... No. Don't ever put your man before your friends. Your friends will be there when he's there, before he was there, when he leaves, when he hurts you, when he doubles back. <laughs> your friends are really going to be there forever. And, you know, men yeah. change. So, Yeah. No. no, I'm with you. I agree 100%. <laughs> Should you be sharing your location with your partner at all times? Uh, not for me. Not okay. for me. Um, I feel like if I have to watch your location, man, I don't trust you enough. Yeah. Or maybe I want to protect you. Maybe you just want to make sure they're safe. They're safe. Okay. Yeah. I like that way. I like for that, that way reason. Of it. Yeah. I feel that. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like that's. That's okay. Yeah, it's all right. That's okay. For that reason. you do want to protect and make sure people are good at night. And That's right. Where you lay your head. That's right. Okay. I feel that. What do you do if you see your friend getting cheated on? You're out in public. You realize their partner's cheating on them. Do you confront them or do you not? That's, hard. That's so hard. You know why it's hard? Um, <laughs> because it's like you want to be the friend, of course. I want to call you and put you on game. Right. But there's always that situation where you call and you tell your friend and she'll go right back or yeah. she'll either be like, you know what I'm saying? She'll kind of get mad at you. Right. Um, so it's hard, you know, for me, I'm going to tell my friend, you know, but I'm going to respect, you know, whatever she wants to do. Would you want to know if someone was cheating on you? Would you want your friend to be like, Hey, take a photo, videotape. What, what would you want in that situation? Or would you want your friend to confront them? Listen, I'm going to be honest. I want my friend to confront them. Mm -hmm. Go up to them and be like, hey, okay. you're a cheater. Yeah. I took a photo and I, I sent it to Nessa. Heard you. <laughs> like, <laughs> mm, that's, so, that's so tricky. I want to know. Um, but the yes. way you tell me, yeah. <laughs> please don't, don't tell me while I'm working. Look, you know, don't tell me when I have something to do. Because like I said, I'll, I'll take that emotion and it'll it'll be stuck for the day. Yeah, yeah. So tell me later when nothing's happening. Right. You know, <laughs> tell me in a private space. <laughs> yes. Okay. So your man has a two-seater. It's raining outside. And he has to decide to take you in the car or his mom. What would you advise him to this do? This is so good. This is so good. <laughs> um, Take your mom. Take your mom because I don't want mom mad at me. Right. And, you know, I want to be able to come to the house without her bringing it up. Right, right. Like, you put me in the rain. <laughs> no, but I'm family oriented. Take moms. Okay? Yeah. I I'll, I'll find a way, love. Yeah. You know. I'll Uber. It's fine. I'll Uber. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I had such a great time with you today. Thank you. I enjoyed this so much. I understand why everyone's rooting for you. Thank you. I understand why everyone <laughs> loves you. I'm not kidding when I tell you. I have heard such great things about you. And not that I care what anybody has to say because I am I want to know someone for myself. But I can understand your aura and why everyone wants you to win. And you already are. So You're going to keep on winning. Means everything, Nessa. Thank you. And I am so happy to see you on this journey. Yes. Just, you know, when, when you take keep on taking over, just make a little time to stop by and say I hi. Am. I'm coming to see you first. Please. I'll be here in New York. Please. In Anytime April. in April, so I'm coming to see you. Are you? Let's come do see it. Me? Come Absolutely, to the show. I want to come see you because I get it yeah. and I understand, and I'm Thank so you. happy for you that you're able to enjoy this time in your life. Keep going. Thank you so much. And you have a great Nessa. team, by the way. You look amazing. Hey, you came in here. Everybody team. was excited, but I understand why. You are you. a pleasure to be around. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much, Nessa. Thank you.